Well, hello everybody, it's Scott. Um, I'm just here today uh, doing uh, another video and prep for my Appalachian Trail through hike attempt uh, starting in April. As you can see here, it's a different kind of video. Um, I know a lot of people, uh, you know, say don't mail your stuff out on trail, just buy stuff, resupply. Well, due to inflation, I'm doing my own thing. We have some pretty good uh, sales here, so I stocked up on a bunch of stuff and dehydrating my own meals. Looking at other YouTubers' ideas of how they've done stuff, and um, I, I came to the conclusion to dehydrate my stuff. I have a bunch of meals that I will go over in uh, another video, um, you know, next week. But I'm gonna stand here today, and we're gonna make some uh, some meals. As you can see, I got a bunch of stuff in front of me. Um, we're gonna make some some uh, chicken and rice meals, uh, some stews, um, and then I also have uh, turkey. So it's either gonna be a turkey stew or a turkey rice. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get started. So I'm gonna uh, get going with this, and I will see you then. Okay, we got it set up. We got our stations done. Um, so I'm gonna work on beef and turkey stew to start off with. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all this stuff throw it into one of these uh, vacuum sealed bags with some oxygen slash silica beads to keep them fresh while you know, they're transported and waiting for my hike to kick off. So basically what I'm gonna be putting into these stews is um, pasta, so macaroni slash some twisted things plus some other kinds of, uh, it's just a little concoction of pasta just to you know, keep, it, keep it fresh. Um, some beef bouillon, my meat, my uh, uh, different spices, which I which I'm going to be putting in here is going to be uh, black pepper, um, onion, and garlic powder. Since I do not like those um, as dehydrated or at all, uh, and some bay leaves. Um, then we got our vegetables: so corn, celery, green beans, potato, carrots, tomatoes, uh, bell peppers, and our good old zucchini, as well as some flour that's going to help thicken it up. If you hear some ringing in the background, um, I'm doing laundry. So it's one of those days, doing many things at once. So here we go. What I'm gonna do is get one of these bags, kind of show you what I'm gonna do, and then I'm going to fast forward it. Uh, so get through all the monotonous of setting this up, and then I will get into the chicken and rice and kind of show you what I'm doing there, and then we'll vacuum seal everything. All right, here we go. So, uh, what we're going to do is take two tablespoons, of, or one tablespoon of flour, just to kind of give it that thickness, right? And we're going to take just a fistful of pasta, right? And we're going to take a fistful of turkey, for this case, or beef, right? A uh, beef bouillon, um, a tablespoon of corn, um, a tablespoon, or as much as you can fit in there, of celery, a pinch of green beans, um, just like a handful of potato carrot mix, right? Then I'm going to take two slices of tomatoes, throw it in there, kind of a pinch of green bell pepper, and a couple pinches of zucchini. Now, when it comes to our wonderful seasonings, what I'm going to do is take a fourth teaspoon of all of our goodies, put it in just like so. And voila, a meal.
Mr. Noodle wanted to say hi, everybody. Well, that was kind of annoying. My, uh, my phone died in the middle of the, uh, the chicken and uh, turkey, rice, and uh, pasta mixtures. So we want to have how I uh, built that. So that is done. So what we're going to do now is move more into my snacks and then a, another portion where I'm going to be making um, some snacks to go uh, on the trail and using my dehydrator. Um, but first, let's get these, uh, these snacks all packaged up and then we'll start to uh, vacuum seal these things. Okay, so what I've been doing with chili is, um, as I have done this before, is just taking about, I don't know, like a cup, filling it up to about the top of that, right? Getting it inside the bag. Calling it good, because that's a pretty uh, hefty meal there. So let's get doing this. <laughs> that's how we clean up around. Okay, now time for snacks. So I've uh, done some apple chips, right? I made this really delicious, like honey oat and banana like crisp, um, really good. Um, and then I have some blueberry fruit uh, like roll-ups. Um, this is actually gonna be one all snack since it's like one, it's like one little small thing of blueberries like this big that I blend up and made into something. So uh, with that being said, let's get into uh, storing these things. hard work just kidding it's not um so now as you can tell we are going to start uh, vacuum sealing all of these and ensuring that every single one of these has that little silica oxygen um, packet that I stick inside of these things here we go we're gonna start vacuum sealing our meals for the 18 so I've got quite a few meals here um, a lot of snacks um, now I'm gonna go through and kind of show you how I'm making these meals, what dehydrator I'm using, kind of like my technique, and kind of walk you through uh, how I'm making these things. Okay, everybody, so here I am. I'm gonna make some orange leather real quick. So what it is is gonna be two whole oranges, right? Um, I think we're gonna put some uh, ginger, some cinnamon, pinch of salt, and some monk fruit sweetener in there. So what we're gonna do is take this ginger, it's uh, I'm supposed to use fresh, but I don't like fresh ginger. Um, I know it doesn't really matter because it's going to dehydrate, but you know, I got rather not spend it when I have it here. So you take a tablespoon. All right, and I'm going to take three tablespoons of cinnamon. Get it two. And then you're gonna take three tablespoons of monk fruit sweetener. And a uh, 
Not a pinch of cinnamon. We already have a pinch of salt. Okay. And normally we want to fill this thing all the way up like this, but it's just going to blend into like a nice little watering thing. And then what we're going to do is just blitz it. But apparently, you know, Scott's an idiot. This thing has been working, but I've been overworking it lately. So uh, maybe it's a little over full. Kidding. Uh, apparently that motor burnt out and it wasn't uh, my fault. It just wasn't even spinning and I tested it out on another thing and it just didn't work. So uh, we brought out the big boy. So here we go. Um, little plastic protection thing. I don't know what it's called, that's why it's a plastic protection thing. And we're just gonna pour this out in a nice even layer. And then we're gonna give it a nice little shake to even it out. And there you go. We're gonna stick this in for about eight to 12 hours at about 160 degrees. Um, but I'll do that at the very end. I'm gonna kind of go through everything. Yes, now we're gonna make our uh, three berry fruit leather. So this is going to have blackberries, raspberries, blueberries, and uh, three tablespoons of monk fruit sweetener. So what we're going to do is get that monk fruit sweetener in there real quick like. We're probably going to need a couple. Oh, of these. We moved around our kitchen. I don't know where anything is anymore. We're just going to evenly distribute. Transfer this to the sink. Grab these. So we have a little bit of a spillover with our orange. Get these on our trays. Nice and stacked. And again, we'll transfer this to that once we get going. Okay, right here we have our uh, Cabela's. Um, it's like $100 version. Um, my other one burnt out because how much I was using it. So um, all we're gonna do is go time, well, on time. I'm gonna stick this up to 12 hours. So this will be done at midnight. Um, and then go over here to temp. I set usually mine to about 140. Hit temp, turns on. 
and I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, maybe I'll check in a little bit later today and see how this is going. And if I happen to forget, which I probably will, um, thanks for joining me on this. And uh, if you have any questions about what I'm doing, how I'm using it, um, how, where I'm getting my, uh, my recipes, just reach out to me and, uh, in the comments and I'll reach back out to you. And uh, yeah, it's been fun. This is a weird, different version of me as I'm getting ready to go out on the Appalachian Trail. So thank you and I will see you on the next.